Racism is an unintelligent thing to be a part of. There's no such thing as a race traitor. There's no such thing as purity just because of your skin color. Your skin color comes from your ancestors and your position on the earth in accordance to the equator. Okay? Geography, the shape of the earth, the seasons, the environment, are what morph the skin. Okay? Ideas permeate past skin color to practice in this idea that's been debunked by any rational scientists and by all moral philosophers and every holy book there is not one race that is better than the other and anyone telling you that or trying to be a soldier of that ideology has a deep misunderstanding of what it means to be human being a human is more than skin color it's what you do in the world it's who you help it's who you become it's fortitude it's fraternity as in brotherhood it's sisterhood motherhood fatherhood these are ideas and in, in institutions that are universal To hate because of a skin color or a religion is useless and it doesn't help us become better. And it ignores how intercultures fight amongst themselves, anyways. Don't allow yourself to be used by OGs who will toss you aside and not remember what you did. Just because someone has a different idea than you doesn't mean you're right. Learn to debate ideas. Be careful what you ask for and what you try to do to intimidate anyone who doesn't follow your race lines and lies. Ask yourself if it's worth it. The OG Pecker Woods and any race that practices racism, racism towards whites, any, you know, there's northerners that hate southerners, there's indigenous people who hate non indigenous people, there's all different groups. All of that is stupid. Look at someone's character, learn to debate their ideas, present your own ideas, formulate your own ideas. Learn to take criticism, learn to understand diversity, and diversity as in of opinion and any other type of expression of humans. Hmm. It must be very sad to be fooled by the skin shade. You have to have more of a superpower than that. Your eye, your pupil, can penetrate into the soul of another person. If you understand how to look at someone's eyes and measure them and let them take the measurement of you. It's almost like a form of telepathy if you think about it. The skin is this just the shell. It's just the feathers. Snakes shed their skins, crabs discard their shells at times, snails discard their shells. The skin is a temporary thing. It's an organ. Cultures all change. Your ancestors who lived in one part of the world moved from another part of the world, who moved from another part of the world, and that's just how it goes. You can't have a bottleneck genetically. Your personality, who you are, is unique and it's not bound by just a race. 
Ideas can be different than yours. You shouldn't be afraid of ideas. You shouldn't be intimidated by ideas or anyone talking about those ideas. You have so much to live for. Why waste it being a racist and being angry when life is so short? Come on now. Do you really want to spend your time doing that, being a racist? And then you want to spend your time trying to intimidate people who aren't? It's not going to work. It's really sad. Don't do it. Be the change. Be around people more. Get to know different perspectives. There's so many fun things to do when you're wasting it by being angry all the time. By trying to flex. It doesn't get you anywhere. It only emboldens your enemy. When you rage against the flames, the flames rage up as well. You put the gasoline on, it puts the gasoline on. You butt the head, you, it butts the head. You ever seen two bulls? When they don't like each other, they go at it. And the loss that's experienced by one of the bulls is tragic. When there's plenty of grass for both the bulls. It doesn't make sense. You're more valuable than that as a human than to waste it being a racist. Don't be the servant of any politician, any other person. Don't be the foot soldier in someone else's war who won't even remember your name in two months. No one will be impressed. A judge won't be impressed. The prison guard won't be impressed. The other inmates won't be impressed. Your mother, your father won't be impressed. Your few friends who barely like you will for a short time. But other than that, no one else. So don't waste it. You only get one life. Argue politics. Argue things that matter. Learn to laugh. Why waste it being a racist? Why waste it hating someone because they're a different faith or lack thereof? Doesn't make sense. Don't do it. There's so many brilliant things you can learn. You level up when you learn about another culture. You level up. It's like if you're reading a chemistry book, each chapter levels you up, right? Learning about each culture levels you up. Don't leave yourself vulnerable. To be an ignorant, isolated person who's going to allow themselves to be used by someone else, you know, as a pawn for an ideology like skin color, racism, all that stuff, just seems like a waste. It's a waste of time. I don't know, you gotta ask yourself if it's really worth it, if that five minutes of fame is worth it. And you'll be, your enemy, like, how do I put it? The wolf that survives the battle absorbs the energy of that wolf that lost. And if you lose, not only do you lose, but you helped your opponent get leveled up. So it's like a double whammy. I don't know, the food in prison is its gross. Why risk it? To be a racist, to not be able to hear different opinions without getting upset. Don't do it, man. That's not worth it. Change your life. There's still time.